الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله هيا على الصلاة على الفلاة حي على الفلاة الله أكبر الله والدرجة الرفيعة وبعثه مقاما محمودا الذي وعدته إنك لا تخلف الميعاد سبحان الله وبحمده سبحان الله العظيم سبحان الله والحمد لله ولا إله إلا الله والله أكبر <تصفيق> الحمد لله حمدا كثيرا طيبا مباركا فيه الله سبحانه وتعالى the creator of all of the worlds the creator of the universe is the one who defines himself in his holy scripture he defines himself in his own words and the lord says tabarak alladhi bi yadihi al mulk wa huwa ala kulli shay'in qadir he is the one who has all of the universe in his hands بِيَدِهِ الْمُلْكِ He is the king of the whole universe. He is the lord of all of the universe. وَهُوَ الْعَزِيزُ الْغَفُورِ And he is, he is, he knows his thing. وَهُوَ الْعَزِيزُ He is the one, he, he knows his thing, he knows his job, he knows his thing. his universe and he is the one he who has complete hold over his creations wa huwa al aziz al ghafur and he is forgiving as well alladhi khalaqa sab'a samawati tibaqa 
ما ترى في خلق الرحمن من تفاوت he created the seven skies layered over each other and he is the one walaqad zayyanna samaa ad-dunya bi masabih he is the one who created the heavens he is the one who created the sky over this earth and he is the one who put the stars under the sky like lamps and and he is the one الذي خلق الموت والحياة ليبلوكم أيكم أحسن عملا الذي خلق الموت والحياة ليبلوكم أيكم أحسن عملا he is the one who created the death he created the death the life after death والحياة and he created the life لِيَبْلُوَكُمْ أَيُّكُمْ أَحْسَنُ عَمَلًا so that he so that he may test you that whoever does the best deeds he is the one who created this universe the life and the death so that he may test the people that who performs better than the others ahsanu amala who is going to perform the best of the best of the best performance then he says alladhi khalaqa sab'a samawatin tibaqa he is the one who created the whole universe ma tara fi khalqir rahmani min tafawut you won't find any shortcoming or any imperfection in his creation فَرَجِعِ الْبَصَرَ هَلْ تَرَى مِنْ فُطُورِ He is challenging the whole universe, all of the creations. فَرَجِعِ الْبَصَرَ Go, try to find out any shortcoming or imperfection in this universe. If you find any shortcoming that you think is a shortcoming, is by design. هَلْ تَرَى مِنْ فُطُورِ You won't find any shortcoming. ثم رجع البصر كرتين ينقلب إليك البصر خاص أم وهو حسير. He is challenging you that all mankind and jinn kind and all of the creations go and try to find any shortcoming in the creations in the creations of the Creator, but you won't find any shortcoming. So whatever happens in this earth. And in this universe is by design. If the gravity was a little bit lesser than what it is today, the whole universe would detach. The earth won't, the earth won't revolve around the sun anymore. The moon won't revolve around the earth anymore. The air pressure on the earth won't be maintained. The oxygen won't be enough for the living beings. If the gravity was a tiniest bit more than what it is today, the whole universe would collapse. Everything would submerge into each other and everything would shut down by a huge explosion. He knows, he created everything by such a precise measurement that if the amount, the number of snakes, if you swap the number of snakes in the universe, in the, on, on, the, on, the, in the whole world, with the number of mosquitoes, if you swap these two numbers, there would be no life anymore. The earth won't be safe for living. He knows what to create, how to create, and how to maintain. If the temperature 
in, in, in the ocean was a tiniest bit more than what it is today, there would be, the, the, all of the water would evaporate. And if the temperature was a bit less than this, the, the life within the oceans would be harder than what it is today. The number of fishes in the oceans is exactly what they are meant to, what are best for the universe, for the whole world. The temperature on earth raises, 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 but not more than what he wants. If he has to punish or he has to pull the string, he may raise the temperatures to, to the upper limit of 50 degrees Celsius or something, but not more than that. It never happens that the temperature of the earth r would rise immediately to even 100 degrees. And it doesn't fall too low that everyone would earth would die. Everything is perfect by its design. He is challenging. He is challenging the whole world, all of the mankind, all of the technologies to go over and try to find any imperfection. And you are allowed to go and investigate forever and ever and ever and over and over and over again. You would be tired and your efforts would return to you and you won't find any imperfection. Anything that you think is, imp is an imperfection is by design because he knows how to create, what to create and how to maintain and it is an open challenge for everyone and forever which has not yet been accepted let alone let alone the challenge was met. It never happened. When everything is by design, how do you think the sky suddenly have started to shower, said showers, like, like the, the skies have their doors opened over the mankind in certain areas. When everything is perfect by design, how come suddenly there are storms everywhere around the world exactly after Masjid al-Aqsa was about to be, like the situation is like when it is about to be demol demolished. Why is that? The people of the world, especially the people of the Middle East, what did they think? What did they imagine? What were they like? Was it them who created this huge wealth underneath the earth that was discovered from Middle East? No, they were gifted. It is a gift from the God. Nobody can create such a wealth. What were, we think what were they thinking? That if this wealth is suddenly being showered to them, what were they thinking? Didn't they know that the Creator can also shake the earth so much that they would be buried under the soil? What were they thinking? Didn't they know the Creator, they are challenging through, the, through riba and interest? They're challenging by their, by their rebellion against the Lord, by doing mischief on earth, by not supporting Masjid al-Aqsa, by not standing for the truth, by not standing together, by challenging the Lord Allah's orders. What were they thinking, where they were going with that? Did they imagine their supercars would save them? Did they imagine their Burj Al Khalifa or Burj Al Arab would save them? Did they think their pack?
connects with the West would get them enough technology that they would be able to fight off the 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 challenge from the Lord they have been putting themselves in a situation when they were fighting a war they had started a battle with the Creator by involving themselves into interest based economy didn't they know and read this Quran which was revealed in their own native language didn't they read this ayah? The Lord is saying, doesn't that man see? How did I create? We cre create this man. We created the mankind from the semen. That is ejaculated from the private part. Doesn't the man see that it, he was created from the semen? And he started to become such a such a stubborn, quarreling person. And he has been such stubborn and such narcissist that he started challenging the Lord. The Lord says, Wazara bala na masala. That he started challenging us. And he forgot what he was created from. What was the mankind thinking? What were the Arabs thinking? What were the Muslims thinking? Where were they going with this battle that they had started, this war they had started against the Lord? There was the time, it was overdue that the evil had to be uh, dipped into, into the bud. It was overdue and the time has come now. The sky is showering the wrath. The earth is shaking the wrath. The clouds are lightening the wrath. Harbim min Allahi wa Rasuli. When there is war with the Lord and His Messenger, then nobody can win this war. Only the Lord wins. And the mischievers. The mischief makers are sent where they belong. The time has now come that all of the mischief from earth would be cleared. The Lord would clear the mischief in different ways. He has started clearing the mischief by shaking the people. First, he would shake by sending the small wrath, small punishment. If they don't understand from this small wrath, small punishments, then he would send huge wrath. First, you see the disasters. First, you see the floods. First, you see the lightning strikes, the tornadoes, the storms, the tsunamis, the earthquakes. If the people understand, well and good. If they don't, he has started to make one people attack and finish the other. One people punish the other. When one is finished, the term would be, the term would come to the ones who were used to punish the other. Then he would send another one to punish the, the second ones, the attackers. It would go so on and so on that finally the earth would be cleared from all mischief. And finally, Then, the ones who were the promised ones, the ones who are the obedient Lord, uh, obedient uh, slaves of the Lord, 
would be the ones who would be taking care of the earth. And that time is now coming. According to all of, all of the predictions, the Christians think it is time for the, Jesus, for the second coming of Jesus, the evangelical Christians think. The Jews think it is the time for the tenth sacrifice of the red heifer and it is the time for the Mosaic to come, the Messiah to come. The Hindus think all of the signs for the Kalki Avatar has, have been met and it is time for him to come. The Shaites, Shia people think their 11 Imams had come and now all of the sign for the 12th Imam who would make them rule the world have, have met and it is time for that. And the Muslims think that all of the signs of Imam al-Mahdi have been completed and it's time for him to come. Where is it going? Where is the world going with that? Are there going to be so many saviors? No. There would be an evil personality and a pious personality. The pious one would nip the evil in the bud. The pious one would punish the evil one. And all of this mess would be cleared. There is only one religion. There is only one one decree that was sent by the Lord. Everything else is mischief. Everything else is false. And all of these, all of these false people and false beliefs would go after the, the evil personality. That would be the Antichrist. The Christians would go for that. The Jews would go for the same. The Hindus would go for the same. The Shias would go for the same. And then there will be Imam al-Mahdi. And only the pious people, only the ones followers of the true religion of God, the Lord, would go after him. There would be a huge cla clash of civilizations. The time has come for that. And earth would be filled with justice. And within, within the time of, within the era of Imam al-Mahdi, the Jesus Christ, the real one, would come. And he would take over the leadership. That's how it is going to be. And the time for that has come. The only thing we can do is take heed and return to the Lord and stop putting ourselves in a situation of war against the Lord. Allahumma inna na'uzu bika min al-adhaab al-dunya wa na'uzu bika min al-adhaab al-akhira wa na'uzu bika min al-fitna al-masih al-dajjal Allahumma arhamna wa tajawaz anna Allahumma salli ala sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa ashabihi wa ahli baytihim ajma'in